This video is intended to present how to use a product called Google Sites, which is free. It's a free way to set up a website. It's totally professional looking and it's a Google property. So that means anything you put there will be optimized first in terms of Google search results because it's Google's own stuff, right? So they serve their own cooking first. So the way you work with it here is you go to a browser and you say sites.google.com. And if it asks you to log in, just log in with your Gmail credentials. And see, there's an example of a website I made which was pretty successful in getting the property exposed and registered. So I'll show you quickly how to set up a website here. And um, so you can put any type of uh, material there, right? It all You put it in your Google Drive and then you can put photos and uh, videos, right? So you upload the video to YouTube and then you can embed it here. And here I have a connection to a 3D tour, so I'll show you how that works. I use the hood IQ functionality to put a link to a PDF for a property report, as well as just a little clip out of screen, a clip of the, um, of the uh, MLS listing. So let me show you how to do this here. Oh, by the way, so once you make this, you can publish it, and you can also make it public to the world or totally private or accessible only with the link. So let's say you wanted to make a website maybe just for your real estate team or maybe for one particular client, right? Maybe it's confidential. It's their listing information. You can just spin it off so it has a link and accessible to anybody with the link. But if you make it public to the world, then you get Google search, search optimization as well. So that's how you control the visibility of it. And then here, see, I'm going to say publish. So get, and it's not giving me the option to publish because I haven't made any changes from last time, but I could say copy published link. And then if I wanted, I could go to a web registrar and I use GoDaddy. There's lots of nice ones out there. Just GoDaddy is the one I've been using since forever. And I could purchase a uh, URL, right? So in this case, I went for the name of the building, which was 33 Elmhurst. And then I just went in and did a redirect on it. So I went to DNS. See, so I said DNS manage. And then I just said redirect. So anybody who goes to this URL, they just get redirected over to that longer URL for my Google site. So manage DNS, see? And you could also have subdomains. So I could say area.33elmhurst.info and that could direct it to another URL, maybe one with a property report or something, or a school's report. Or I could say realtor.33elmhurst, and that could redirect it to my own personal website or whatever. It's however you want to organize that. But you see here, I just said that whoever hits this URL gets redirected to my Google site. And then you have that URL, 33elmhurst, you can put up there on... Um, on your other advertising collateral, plus any other condo that sells in the building. If the buyer is searching 33 Elmhurst, they're getting presented with my information because I own that URL. So you may want to go out and buy URLs for some of the big buildings that you're, you're doing a lot of business in. So anyway, let's see how I did this. So I'm going to go to sites. Google.com. And see, see here, I can say make a new site. So I'll say new site. And this is something if we have a training, this could take like maybe an hour or so to totally go through um, all the options here. But you give it a title, right? And then you can put a background image there. You could upload an image and, and put your image there, maybe an image of your real estate banner or something. And then here is your main area, right? So again, whatever you want to put there, it's totally your own creativity, but I could put a YouTube video. 
Let's get one of the famous influ uh, influential uh, YouTubers. Let's see if we can put some of their stuff there. Yeah, that was another area report I did from several years ago. So whatever, this is, has to be your own thinking and planning. That was some listing I did some time ago. And um, then you could put images, right? So maybe you're, you're a professional photographer. They gave you the digital files you uploaded to Google Drive. I'll show you if you need me to show you how to do that. And, um, and then you can insert them in here. There's tons of stuff. I mean, it's honestly, your big problem is you have to be disciplined, right? Because you could, this could be a black hole of time. You could spend days and weeks with all the cool things, but it's really amazing all of the um, free, right? You're not spending money on a web developer. And I'm not waiting two or three days or a week for the web developer to get around to doing my project. I can sit down in an hour, crack open a beer. And when I get up, I might have a slight buzz, but I'll also have a good, uh, sorry, I'm not a big drinker. One beer would probably do it for me. But uh, I have a very nice product here, and then I can link it up to one or several URLs, several URLs, right? And I can put all of my information. I could put my PDFs, my virtual tour, my 360 tour, right? I could put a sheet. What I've done sometimes is I actually put the mortgage calculation sheet. You can download those or make your own, put it up to Google Sheets. And then, you know, if you have this much of down payment, this is your net proceeds sheet. I let them calculate their, um, their uh, land transfer tax and all of that stuff right there. So that would be a Google Sheet or Docs or Calendar if you wanted the calendar for your open houses or stuff like that, right? Google Forms, if you want to give them a form to send you specific questions or information, you embed it right in there. And then when you're done, you just say publish. And then that becomes part of the user experience. That's the URL. So you could just put whatever you want it to be there. That was actually kind of an unpleasant experience. I found out later with 3205 Knobbrook, as soon as I got three good offers, which I did in four days, they suddenly decided they didn't want to sell. And I found out later they were selling it to a family member within their family. They just wanted me to get them the, uh, the price and what the market would pay. Oh, anyway, if you're going to be in real estate, deal with it. So here we're going to say publish. And then that's what it is, right? And then I have that link. I can go over there and copy it. And I could bring that over to my registrar and set that up. Right? And that becomes some URL that's available anywhere in the world. And anybody who um, anybody who goes and searches for that. Oh, you see, it's asking me to log in. So I guess I did not make this URL totally public. So let's go and fix that again. We'll say share with others. And we'll say change. And we'll say anyone who has the link can access it. Oh, see, now it just has to be somebody in my own domain name, petersigerson.net. So we'll say public site. Anyone on the Internet can find and open. That's good. So now we'll say done. And now let's check that again. Always check a URL before you send it out, right? So we're going to say copy the published link. We'll go to another browser like Opera that we're not logged into, so it doesn't have any saved information of our credentials. And then, yay. And uh, that was a long while ago when I was with Remax, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so that's all the stuff. So I would like to do an extended training on this. If you guys are interested, talk to Ed and say, we demand Peter, I don't know, go on strike or something, have a protest and march around with some signs. And then Ed will cave in and he'll bring me in and I'll, I'll show you as much as you'd like to know about the stuff because I think it's really cool. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.